my loves welcome to my channel sun love stars welcome to today's reading so you guys have voted for the next big change in your life the next big adventure or energy shift whatever it is so we're looking today at the next big change that is coming into your life or that is already unfolding without you really noticing it to be honest today i sat down and i really felt a very very new energy like I felt such a big energy shift and it's so weird because every time I do readings and I ask you guys what do you want to <laughs> what do you want to see it is kind of in alignment with what is happening in my life and again as I sat down I was like hmm something is different I don't know what it is I mean um, my setup is kind of the same and I'm like something is weird today something feels like it's new like a new energy a new way of living or just an energy shift so if you have been feeling that <laughs> I feel you I, I am in the same boat so we're gonna look at the next big change in your life also if you are new my name is Cynthia welcome <laughs> welcome to this video welcome to this reading um, I do pick a card readings on my channel to guide you to connect you to your future spouse depending on the topic so if you are interested in that I would be very very happy to welcome you um, without further ado in the next clip you can choose between four beautiful images and I also well interesting <laughs> i did change something up um so you can choose between images but i also put a crystal on the image so you can basically choose between crystals or images or maybe you just like the way the crystal vibes with the image and that's you know what you feel drawn to the most but um for those who are feeling a little bit um, indecisive when it comes to image when it comes to these images you can also choose between crystals and if you are somebody who is very very intuitive um close your eyes and just choose between a number okay whatever feels good to you whatever you feel is the right choice in the situation so in the next clip you can choose between images or crystals <laughs> and i would say i'm going to see in your reading guys we're going to look at the next big changes or the next big adventure the next energy shift that is happening in your life <laughs> Hello my beautiful pie number one. So you chose this beautiful image here. Let us see what the next big change in your life is. What do your spirit guides want you to know? What is changing in your life? Um, I already laid out the cards. We're going to get a little bit more. It's going to be interesting with you guys. Um, first of all, I want to tell you that whatever you have been thinking about where you were like, I'm going to surrender or where you felt like... Um, because we have the sky dancer here and it says surrender so i'm feeling an energy here for you for pile number one that some of you guys recently came to the conclusion where you said i'm going to surrender to something i don't i don't have the control over the situation and i'm done fighting or i'm done trying to have control over the situation or i just surrender it to god or i just surrender to the situation i'm going to accept the situation as it is um, or i'm just going to surrender and trust the universe in whatever situation you have been feeling like you want to surrender the last couple of days in the last couple of weeks i'm seeing an energy here that this surrendering this giving your trust to god or just accepting a situation for what it is 
it's actually um, the ripple effect that is happening here. So you surrendering has a huge ripple effect when it comes to your future. I'm seeing an energy here where the universe is saying, because we also have the willow, will o the wisp, treasures hidden in the shadow. I'm feeling an energy here that spirit is saying, you have been doing an excellent job when it comes to shadow work, okay? Um, I'm feeling a strong energy here where um, you are being rewarded for all the shadow work that you have been, do have been doing. So to me, it feels like maybe the last couple of weeks and months have not been that easy because you had to face a lot of fears. You had to face a lot of like maybe bad habits that you have or you have been seeing like cycles repeating or that you are repeating. Um, a pattern or a behavior that you know is not good for you or maybe just looking at um, beliefs that you have or situations that you put yourself into um, that really bring out the shadow side out of you. So this could be in the form of anger, in the form of, um, you know, in the form of really just feeling low or down or um, gloomy and i'm seeing an energy here where the universe is saying the next big change here is that you are transitioning from the shadow phase <laughs> to the light aspect it's almost like you are being rewarded for the shadow work that you've been done it says treasures hidden in the shadows so all the insights all the conclusions that you came up with okay if you have been looking deep into your soul, why do I feel this way? Why do I feel unfulfilled? Okay, this could be because the timeline is different for all of you. For some of you guys, you already are in the transition. You already have been looking at all those aspects. For others of you, don't be scared if certain things um, come up again, you know, where you feel like, I don't know why I feel so unfulfilled. I don't know why I feel so empty. Um, you know, this all this energy is coming up for you to look at it. And once you have looked at it, once you analyze, where this energy comes from basically finding the root of the core right when there is um you know when there is an illness we, we usually um you know look at the symptoms but in order to cure something we have to look at the root cause right so i'm seeing you for some of you guys you have been doing that and for others of you the next chapter here um, is a lot about shadow work but spirit wants you to know that you will be greatly rewarded as you do the shadow work okay i see for some of you guys you have been writing down a lot you have been journaling a lot about how you're feeling or why you feel a certain type of way or you have really been asking yourself questions here um asking yourself why do i feel like or what is stopping me from succeeding or why do i feel like i cannot be successful okay so you guys have been really asking yourself questions very very deep questions where you looked at the shadow aspect why am i why is my voice in my mind so negative? Why am I not my best friend? Okay, and I'm seeing here that you are either in the process of finding a break, um, finding an insight that is almost like a breakthrough. So this insight that you're gonna get as you do shadow work is gonna be like a huge breakthrough. It's almost it. It feels like um you know an egg, and it's interesting because your um your crystal looks like an egg. Okay. And to me, it feels like an egg that is breaking, but from the inside. There is a quote that says, um, life ends when an egg is broken from the outside, but, an, um, but life begins as an egg is broken from the inside. So when there's a chicken in the egg and it breaks out of the shell, it breaks out of the egg, life happens but when there's outside forces breaking the egg um it means it means that life is ending and i'm feeling here i'm feeling like as if your energy your soul it feels like an egg and there is a chicken something is being born inside of you a feeling an urge um maybe even a new habit is you know rising from your spirit from your soul and this egg is breaking and this chicken is coming out of the egg that's what it feels like and it feels like um a very refreshing energy the sky dancer also tells me that the next chapter of your life again is a big big reward okay emotionally an emotional reward where you feel emotionally happy and blissful okay because it almost feels like um you found yourself again you found 
who you are or you found you know your passion or you found why you are living you found your purpose okay so again take it as it resonates maybe you are already there maybe you are in the midst of it and maybe you are in the beginning where all the shadow work is coming up but this is a prediction here where you are going as you go through the shadow phase okay um it's almost like the light at the end of the tunnel um, and I'm seeing here the Sky Dancer also tells me that you will have a lot of reasons to celebrate. I, I just feel a strong energy of like emotional happiness where you feel happy about life, where you feel passionate about life, where you have so much creativity. But it comes from a place of I've been looking at my shadow. I've been looking at why my the, the voice in my mind is so negative. I've been looking at my lack of self-confidence. Okay. Um, I've been looking at, you know, why I don't find myself beautiful, you know, and as you look at all these aspects, there's something, there's like a breaking point in a positive way, like a breakdown is a breakthrough and it feels like this egg that is breaking from the inside and there's a new life being born, okay, and it seems to be with a treasure hidden that you're going to either, you already have been having a very, very break like an insight that gives you like a breakthrough like finally getting out of this negative habit or finally getting out of this negative headspace okay it feels like a a lesson here or an insight that is like you know when three or five years later on like in the future you will say that day i had this m specific insight it was a moment in my life where I had this insight and this insight changed my life okay that's what it feels like now we also have here the card deserving, we have a creative endeavor, and we have family, okay? We're going to look at it a little bit more closely because I'm nosy, <laughs> as you guys know. Um, but I feel like there's definitely a new creative endeavor here, okay? So this could be that you're picking up a new passion. Um, this could be you um, re uh, rediscovering something, like something that you have been doing when you were a child and you pick it up again or you remember something from your childhood when it comes to creativity, when it comes to creative endeavors. For others of you, there's a new project, okay? A new project, a new idea to create some type of project, something that is going to bring you a lot of bliss. It almost feels like um, somebody who is discovering you know like i love dancing and then you find this beautiful dancing class and you go there and the amount of bliss and happiness th this dancing class brings you is undescribable like you have no words to describe how much happiness and passion you feel as you dance as you are in this new dancing group in this new cooking class okay or this new project that you are starting here you cannot describe how much bliss and happiness and purpose you feel as you write this book because recently you just you know had this idea to write a book or you had an idea to write poems okay and it's going to really fulfill your life whatever you are discovering here it says treasure hidden okay it's something hidden that you're going to discover when it comes to your creativity okay this could be an old project that you have been working on you are rediscovering it this could be like a new really freaking cool idea to do something or you're launching something when it comes to your business okay um apply it to you what feels right <laughs> and then we have family here so i also feel like the next big change that is coming into your life might be in addition to your family now this could be that your brother is having a child your sister's having a child your mother's having a child whoever it is okay a friend of yours but i also feel like um if it's not a child literally it's definitely like um i feel like you are going to find a treasure in a person almost like a person that you would treasure like in a sense where i'm seeing here that you are surrounded by people or that people are coming into your life and you will um, look at them as family okay this is how intense the connection is so i'm seeing here also there is something to do in, a, in addition to the family could be literally like a be like a child being born here or this could be 
and addition to your family when it comes to your close circle okay that you will find new friends i'm also seeing here for some of you guys you are going to work on a creative project with new people okay or there's going to come up a conversation you're going to meet new people um you know the next couple of months and you guys are going to come up with a really really cool art project or whatever it is okay and it's going to bring you so much happiness that you will just dance in your kitchen in your room out of happiness that's what it feels like but let's dive a little bit deeper into it guys um i'm seeing an energy here as well it says consciousness so that means the change that is happening in your mind the card says deserving i feel like all the roadblocks every you know energetic knot that has been in your mind is being dissolved so i'm seeing here you're also going to probably notice that you manifesting is becoming easier because you've done the shadow work to the point where your mind is illuminated in a sense your consciousness your mind is at a place where you are ready to receive your manifestation your abundance your your your, your um, manifestations are coming to fruition because your mind is ready you know how the heart is ready to receive something and the spirit is ready to receive something and usually the mind is not ready to receive right the mind tells us certain things and i'm seeing here the next big change is in your mind where you are ready your mind is ready to receive blessings and for that reasons blessings finally come to you okay even if you had like a very long period of nothing really happening it has been very very stagnant i'm seeing a strong emphasis here on your mind is changing your mind is in the right mm, let's say i'm hearing right place right time right mind right now right direction it's actually um, a song by janae aiko aiko sorry <laughs> janae aiko it's called psilocybin maybe you guys want to listen to it but let's see i want to know what this deserving card here is it's like you finally accept that you are worthy and deserving of abundance okay i'm seeing guys i'm really like you're <laughs> you're an excellent student when it comes to working with your shadow working with what is stopping you you have been doing an excellent job at doing at looking at the shadow aspect okay of who you are or what you believe and i'm seeing the rewards coming here so let's see what is the deserving card about here it's like everything is blossoming and blooming look at that because again it says consciousness so this is reflecting your mind the change that is happening in your mind blossoming and blooming why does it feel like um spring energy you know because i'm seeing the chicken and the egg <laughs> then there is a little baby here it is all about new energy okay but this new energy is not only tangible in a sense where a new car or a new watch this is like new energy in your mind which is beautiful and look how everything is blossoming and blooming your consciousness your mind is at the right spot <laughs> you have the right mind to receive these blessings here okay so let's see what is this consciousness card about the deserving card yeah there's a big change that is happening in your mind and this big change that is happening in your mind okay i feel like it's going to be triggered by a very intense insight okay or just in general you, you have one download after the other one insight after the other okay understanding how your mind works and why it works a certain way and how you can like reverse your mind from working a certain way that is not to your advantage but you're attracting luck into your life okay <clears throat> you're attracting luck into your life you're attracting um, opportunities into your life because your mind you've been you've been doing a great job when it comes to um, healing your mind okay or you are in the process of getting there as you do your shadow work yeah 
I feel like it's an insight. I feel like you will come across, this could also be coming across an article, coming across a video, coming across a podcast, whatever it is, or it's just an insight. It's just like a very intense thought that you have, like, you know, like a light bulb moment where you're like, why have I been doing this the whole time? Or like, why am I rushing? Why am I thinking that way? And as you realize that you're like, hold on a second, excuse me, why do I think that way? And as you realize that, that's when the change happens in the mind. And as the change happens in the mind, that's when the change happens in your surroundings, okay? You will come across something like, oh, I haven't been seeing that before. Or like, oh, that's interesting could also be coming you coming to a conclusion and understanding something that you have been like you didn't understand why it is like that and then you come to this conclusion like oh now i understand it it's very easy it's very simple or the answer is very simple here okay i'm seeing like <laughs> you know what it feels like it feels like um as your mind you know how when we have negative thoughts again which is you know, we have to work through that energy. It's nothing negative. It's just an energy that we work with. But it feels like your mind, there has been like a dark cloud in your mind, okay? Like a ra rainy dark cloud. But you have been looking at this rainy dark cloud so much that you understand how this all works and where it comes from. From which direction does the dark cloud come? Okay? And then this dark cloud just dissolves and disappears. And there's sunshine. There's sunshine. In your mind. <laughs> and when there's sunshine in your mind, guess what? You are manifesting. You're manifesting that into your life, right? So let's see. Um, I'm just trying to figure out which cards to use. So... <laughs> Uh, which one do I want to use for the creative endeavor because I kind of want to know oh yeah that one that one is very that's a very creative one so let's see what is the creative endeavor about here some of you guys you are starting to put your art out there some of you guys you're going to start recording yourself putting out your, your your content okay for others of you you already have um you already have um started your channel or your instagram or something along those lines something that brings you immense joy it makes you really really happy here okay what is the creative endeavor about spirit guys i don't know where the camera cut off but we're looking at the creative endeavor right now and I'm seeing an energy here, yeah. It feels like if you have been questioning what your purpose is, the big change that is coming to you is clarity about what your purpose is or clarity about how you can make your, how you can transform a hobby into a career. There's gonna be, you're gonna have, I'm telling you, your mind is excellent. Your mind is in a place where you know, when our mind is clouded and scattered, we cannot see the solution even if it was in front of us. But when our mind is healed, and I'm seeing you healing your mind like crazy, do you see? It's like um, you're gonna hit the nail. There's an energy here. You're either going to, I'm seeing here, you're gonna gain confidence when it comes to your creative endeavor, or you're gonna be super, super confident in a sense where I'm seeing here um, that you guys will know exactly what to do in order to make your art project, in order to make your creative endeavor into a business in the sense where you can actually support yourself financially with that art, okay? If, you, if you're if you not there yet. For others of you, if you already do something creative, I'm seeing here that your creative endeavors, um, to me, this feels like hitting a jackpot in a sense where um, I'm seeing here, if some of you guys, you are creating content, I'm seeing you here really blowing up, okay? Because usually this looks like, um, you know, when you hit in, in, in the middle, this means that you're hitting a jackpot or you are winning, right? Um, I don't know what this game is called, but you know what I mean, where you have to like throw 
those thingy majiggers <laughs> and as you hit into it's like you're gonna like hit the jackpot in a sense like maybe some of you guys do hit the jackpot but i'm feeling here it's like your creative project is going to really attract financial success to you okay i'm also seeing here a partnership between two energies so this could be that you are attracting sponsorships or you're just attracting the right person here to create a new project this is also going to be like a new idea okay a new idea a new creative project that is going to bring financial success to you and also you're going to be super super confident with what you do so this is not like oh i would love to do i would love to make money with it no you have this confidence within you that you can actually um, create wealth for yourself okay which then indeed is also going to bring that to you let's see let's get one more card here what is this creative endeavor about so for some of you guys this creative endeavor is actually going to help you to transition to maybe like self-employment or um, a better place when it comes to financial financial matters so this could be something that you do on the side that will bring money to you um and i'm seeing here it's like you're hitting the nail what is this creative endeavor about spirit yeah what is this creative endeavor about i feel like you're gonna work with a lot of people i'm seeing here you being surrounded yeah that makes sense you are being surrounded by people so i'm seeing here this is also a creative endeavor that you're not gonna do on your own i feel like you're going to do that with people here Okay, you guys are gonna come up with a really, really freaking cool idea. And this idea actually can make all of you financially, you know, I wouldn't say rich, or maybe it will make you guys rich, but it feels more so like supporting yourself. It can actually become your career here, okay? All right, so let's see what the family card is about. This definitely talks about um, a new idea when it comes to creative projects but this idea is like exactly what is going to bring success to you and it's something that sparks you up something that makes you super duper happy so it's a win-win situation right it can bring money to you but it also makes you happy and you're also very good at it very talented at it okay let's see what else what else what else what else okay let's look at the family card what's going on here what is the family card about here oh look at that i'm telling you what is the family card about here what is the family card about here king of cups family card about here four of swords i'm seeing like a lot of harmony when it comes to your family so if you have been worried about someone or somebody seeing like a lot of harmony here in your family but i'm also yeah this is this, the new addition right the ace of cups means there's a new energy coming in here when it comes to your family give me a second guys people i keep seeing like a lot of people it's like three people okay i wouldn't be surprised if there's like two new people because i'm seeing like two new people coming into your life let me tell you something <laughs> the next big change again i feel like it's two i'm t i'm seeing two specific people here okay i'm seeing two people here that are new that are coming into your life Okay, we have here the King of Pentacles, we have the King of Cups, and we have the Queen of Wands. These are three people, and I'm specifically looking at it because the card here also has three people on them. So I intuitively feel there's two people 
coming into your life that are new. Um, I'm seeing here, you're going to have a creative project with a friend, okay, with a new person, whoever it is. And I'm seeing here, this creative project is going to blow up and it's going to bring wealth. This creative project is going to bring wealth to you and the people that you have created it with, okay? This seems to be a collaboration. This seems to be a collaboration here. And I'm also seeing here, um, I'm seeing an energy here where some of you guys, there's also your future spouse is also coming through here or um, you're going to be either in a partnership when it comes to um, business, okay? So this is like, you look at that. This is like, okay, we both want to invest into something. We both want to make this happen, this creative endeavor, okay? And you guys are going to invest energy into it. Um, and what is coming to you is wealth. We have the Ten of Pentacles twice here, okay? This is a partnership that brings financial success into your life this could be in the form of a relationship or the form of a friendship okay because spirit is not necessarily clear here this could be a friend of yours okay or like a new friend that is coming into your life and you both are gonna go on a mission to make this creative project happen and again it brings financial success here okay this brings financial success whatever partnership that you are going to go into may it be romantic or friendship brings success it brings um a big change into your life like your bank account is going to look different than what it looks now to be completely honest we have the ten of pentacles twice here we have the ace of cups twice here which means um an energy of fulfillment okay an energy of like something new brings me fulfillment this could be again um a relationship or um, a friendship it could even be both since I'm seeing two energies I'm seeing two new people coming into your life and they're gonna be very very important um, when it comes to you and even your career I almost want to say okay okay guys so let's look at the sky dancer because I feel like um, this card talks about what you either are going through right now the whole shadow aspect of like oop you know um realizing like oh i really think negative about myself where does the, where does that come from or why don't i believe in myself or why am i beating myself up so much you know the realization of those harsh energies or those dark dark thoughts that you have in mind but i feel like i want to read the sky dancer okay so to wrap up your reading let's read this card it says, Sky Dancers, liberation from attachment, surrender. When a Sky Dancer appears, she is inviting you to welcome the deepest power of the feminine into your life. You have already overanalyzed your situation to exhaustion. Now is the time to invite the sacred feminine, the wisdom within your heart, no matter your gender, to guide you to success. If you have, be if you have become earthbound, plotting and planning and praying for a change, cease and desist break the habit of being yourself of repeating the same behavior and hoping for a different outcome stop trying to figure it all out and stop overthinking it surrender the sky dancers are heralding the arrival of a new relationship with yourself in your work or in your love life we already knew that this is a new relationship coming into your life again i see specifically two people here like i cannot shake this energy off i feel like it's two new people that are entering your life and they're gonna be kind of like an addition to your family which means they're gonna be in your life for the rest of your life basically um stop trying to figure it all out and stop over analyzing it surrender oh hold on <laughs> where were we uh, that the sky dancers are heralding the arrival of a new relationship with yourself in your work or in your love life do not assume that this person or opportunity will rescue you um, the only way to liberation is to kiss the ground goodbye and take flight to rise above the fray and the drama of the struggling arguing mind 
dance in the sky and view the madness below by simply witnessing the actors and the human comedy unfolding on the ground, you are transforming it as you observe the drama, you're, you unleash the power of the sacred feminine that allows for resolution. The sky dances knows the map of heaven and the way to the holiest and most sacred places on earth. They come to help you with your current life and, even more important, to guide you to the realization of your own divinity. Okay, my beautiful pie number one. So it seems like the change is happening, first of all, in your mind, okay? You're gonna notice that your mind is super, super harmonious after you've looked at all of your shadows, okay? You've done an amazing job and this mind that seems to blossom you like literally like metaphorically that your mind is full of flowers and full of sunlight you know when before there was like a rainy dark cloud okay which we welcome the rainy dark cloud but it shouldn't stay forever <laughs> um i'm seeing here this is bringing a lot of energy into your life okay a lot of um new ideas and I'm specifically seeing two new people coming into your life and you're also going to attract abundance in a partnership or in the form of like a partnership, a creative endeavor that you're going to create with somebody here, okay? Or with two people, I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> but it's definitely an energy where your creativity is like this light. It's fully illuminated. You know, your creativity is just like... Okay, and this light here attracts energy to it, success, people loving your art, people cr loving the content that you create, okay? Okay, my beautiful pie number one, I hope you like this reading, I hope this helped. <laughs> and I'm going to see my next one, I wish you a lovely day, bye. Hello, my lovely pie number two, so you chose this beautiful image here as well as you chose i think it's called snowstone but to be honest i don't really remember but in my mind it is saved as a snowstone <laughs> so let's see what is the next big change that is coming into your life um i want to channel the energy first and then we're going to talk about the cards okay so there's an energy here with you guys where the change is happening, first of all, in your mind. I think the last couple of months or weeks or even years, you really had an issue with when it comes to abundance or feeling like you have the power to manifest financial abundance into your life or the energy of feeling like something is lacking in my life. This could be, you know, love is lacking in my life or, you know, abundance, financial abundance is lacking in my life. I don't know what my purpose is. So it, it, there was always an energy of like feeling empty or feeling like something is lacking, okay? And I'm seeing here this energy of this lack that you have been feeling before it changes because I'm seeing a big shift here. I'm seeing a big shift here of you once felt like there is not enough or you don't have enough or you are not enough. And this big change that is happening in your life is where you will cry because of gratefulness. You will cry because you see that the things that you've always wished for are in your life. Now, again, the change happens first in your mind. I'm seeing a specific energy here, pan number two, where um, the universe is going to show you, the universe is going to show you in very weird and mysterious ways, almost like, um, you know, in a movie or in a book or just the, 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 uh, the conversations that you hear outside when you walk past somebody, um, or you receiving signs. I'm seeing here that you have been praying for something and Spirit is sending you signs. Now, those signs are not always obvious what they mean, but Spirit is saying you will understand them as you look at them, as you look within and see how does this reflect me, okay? There is a specific energy here. The change that I'm feeling here is that um, your mind is changing from feeling like I cannot do this or I am not enough or I will never be successful, I will never be wealthy. It is changing into 
I have the power to manifest all the money in the world. I have the power to manifest my true love to me, you know? I have the power to manifest my dreams and make my imagination a reality, okay? Now the card here also says Spirit of the Rhythm. It says movement towards an adventure. Okay, so there is definitely an adventure on the table here. We're going to look at, at it in a second. And then we have here Sky Writing the Fates. And I want to read this card out for you because it's very, very beautiful. It seems to be where something is written in the stars and you could not see what was written in the stars for you, but now you can see it. It's almost like now it is visible to you. It seems to be an energy where it's almost like a portal is opening because I see that as it reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. I think it's the second part of the movie where she is jumping in, into a mirror. Oh, that makes absolute sense. Okay, so in the movie, she is jumping into a mirror. Um, and to other people this mirror is just a normal mirror but for her it's a portal it's a gateway and only she can see it and only she can do it okay so there is an energy where the universe wants you to know that you have a unique way of looking at things and because you have a unique way of looking at things you would be the one to spot an opportunity you would be the one to see an opportunity where other people cannot see this opportunity and this opportunity that you will see because you have a unique way of looking at things is going to bring a huge change into your life and this change is a change that you have prayed for you will go on your knees and thank the universe thank god thank your ancestors your spirit guides for whatever they're bringing to you okay now in the movie i don't really know the whole full movie maybe you want to watch it maybe it's important to you because again the universe speaks through everything around us um so in the movie she was in a situation where something was hunting her okay so you might even be feeling like unsafe or you know like in a sense where financially not safe not stable or you feel like um there's something hunting you or maybe maybe even thoughts you know like thoughts that are hunting you or thoughts that are making you feel uneasy and it seems to be <laughs> where you are transitioning to a completely new energy where you it's almost like finding a way out okay finding a way out she jumps into the mirror and then the people come in because they were hunting her and she's gone and she's somewhere else you know now Let's see, let's read out this card here first. It says sky writing. Okay, so we're gonna look at it. So the card says sky writing, the fates, that which we cannot change, non judgment. It is written in the sky that you have a destiny. You are being invited to explore certain aspects of life unique to you and only you. Does that does not mean that your path will be easy, paved with gold and littered with diamonds, nor does this predict that your journey will be treacherous. It is just your path, with parts that cannot be changed and must be radically accepted as they are. In this way, whatever you are faced with, every single aspect of your life is perfect in its imperfection. Not good or bad, neither inflow nor blocked, this nor that. See your life as a series of opportunities rather than an obstacle course. Once you master the skill of non-judgment, you open to the power of curiosity, unencumbered by the burdens of yesterday's fears. As you look ahead into the potential of the future, yes, you still need to be brave. Right now you are facing a critical moment in time with an opportunity to meet your fate. A choice point where you expand your influence and your capacity for abundance, love and purposeful action. Now's the moment to leap into it, whether it be hard connection, a call to creativity or a new identity in your work or another area of life. With all your heart and soul, your success is surely written in the stars. In order to bring your destiny to fruition, you must jump into the adventure with both feet and do your part. 
so it almost feels like this big change that is entering your life is something that you initiate we have the word adventure twice here so i actually want to look at what this adventure is about let's see what is this adventure about that you are facing again this is almost like um whatever is burdening you right now it feels like whatever is burdening you right now um it is valid for you to feel uneasy about it and feel sad about it or whatever you are currently feeling when it comes to that situation, okay? But at the same time, it is also an opportunity for you to completely change your life where, you, where you're saying, I am done with this bullshit or I'm done with my own bullshit, I'm done with this, okay? And that energy here, it's almost like fire, right? When you are angry about something, you know, because sometimes sadness can turn into anger. Why is this happening to me? Why, why is this happening to me? But this fire that you're feeling, right? Could even be, again, anger towards the system or the people or the people at work. You can transform this fire of anger, okay? You can transform this fire of anger into the fuel that you need in order to get somewhere. It's kind of like, no, I'm done with this bullshit, you know? And this rage is fire, you know, when we look at it energetically. But you can turn this rage or this energy into what fuels you to go elsewhere or to finally make a decision or to finally jump into something finally jump into the cold water okay even if it's sadness right you know metaphorically looking at your tears your tears they build or they create an ocean okay your tears create an ocean <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> it's like <laughs> all the elements come through, but it's like your tears are creating an ocean and it says spirit of the river, okay? I'm also hearing cry me a river, so maybe you guys have been crying a lot. Ooh, it's also payback time. Payback day? You know, like when you say cry me a river, it's usually like when somebody made you cry and then you are on the other side where they cry because of you not because of you but they cry because they want you back so what i'm picking up here with cry me river it almost feels like um you've been crying a lot about a situation okay so whatever injustice has been happening whatever ha injustice has been happening the universe will bring justice to you where you are in a good place in a good position and the person that has been doing you wrong or this energy that has been doing you wrong okay they will get their own karma for whatever reason this comes through now with this river card you see so your tears create a river your tears create a pool of water and this pool of water your tears they cleanse you okay so instead of seeing it as weakness that you are crying or that you are angry or frustrated use this energy i am angry right now there's fire inside of my body okay and what can i do with this fire i can burn something right and as i burn something um, i transform it and even water i'm crying right now because i feel sad now this water cleanses you it purifies you okay so i almost want to say that spirit doesn't want you to look at yourself as somebody weak but you are very very vulnerable and very very aware of your feelings and that is going to be a huge advantage for you um, to get to where you want to be okay but let's see let's look at this adventure here there's definitely like i feel like this adventure that is coming to you will be out of nowhere this will be a decision that you're making from one second to another okay because in the movie it was like um she didn't expect to be hunted but then she got hunted and then she had to like um jump into this mirror okay so I feel like whatever adventure is coming to you, it will come to you from one day to another. A decision that you're going to make from one day to another, okay? Maybe you already have been going through that energy or maybe this energy is in the future because it's a, um, all of you guys are at a different timeline, you know? Some of you guys, you already have been going through that. For others of you, this is what is coming your way. It's an adventure or an, an invitation by the universe to do something crazy or to do something very, very adventurous. But again, it's gonna come out of nowhere and it comes 
connected to a situation that makes you feel burdened okay it makes you feel like you feel really really frustrated about something and then there's like this little moment this little moment where you can decide to make to make to jump into an adventure okay let's see what is this adventure about here for pile number two what is this adventure about for pile number two Oh yes, I told you, disappointment, okay? For some of you guys, it's also a disappointment when it comes to a relationship here or a connection. Yeah, tower moment, what is this adventure about? Okay, what is this adventure about here? Look at that. What is this adventure about here? Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What this adventure is about for you guys. So I'm feeling an energy here. This adventure seems to be, ooh, child. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Sorry guys, I love this card. Whenever it comes out, I'm like, ooh, I love that energy. <laughs> so that is coming your way. Anyway, let's talk about it. So this adventure that is coming into your life, I've already been hinting towards it, but it will be triggered by a disappointment. It will be triggered by something that makes you feel sad, that makes you feel angry, that makes you feel frustrated, okay? This is pushing you into the cold water. There's something, mm, let me share something with you guys. <laughs> I have been watching a couple that lives in Portugal and stuff like that. Um, anyway, he went on an ayahuasca trip, this guy, because he wanted to just explore it and experience it. But at the same time, it brought a lot of like uh, unhealed wounds to the surface and stuff like that. Anyway, let me get to my point because <laughs> I talk very long. <laughs> so he said a very, very beautiful spiritual story. It was about a lobster um, and the story goes like that <laughs> I try my best not to butcher it but um, so this lobster he talked about how a lobster it was like a spiritual guru that talked about this um, story so it was about a lobster and he explained that a lobster um, has a shell you know you know the body is you know has a shell on it and the lobster grows and grows and grows until the shell becomes too uncomfortable okay so this lobster is gonna feel suffocated stuck um feeling really like i cannot stay in this place this does not work okay so whatever it is this could be a job this could be where you are living this could be the person that you are with you know like a relationship that is really not working out whatever it is it's like I cannot stay here like I can't I'm I feel suffocated I'm suffering I cannot stay like that okay so the lobster feels the same way he's growing and in his shell he's like it's getting too tiny I don't know how to move anymore and so the shell breaks okay the shell breaks and the lobster grows a new shell and the spiritual guru said that you feeling uncomfortable means that you are growing okay you feeling uncomfortable in a situation means you are growing you are growing out of old habits okay maybe there are certain habits and you're like i cannot continue like that you are growing out of old habits you are growing out of certain relationships you are growing out of certain environments okay you are growing you feeling uncomfortable means i am growing and i no longer want to live like that so this feeling of uncomfortable feeling uncomfortable and feeling suffocated is a sign of you growing like the lobster now when the lobster is growing when you are growing when your soul is growing it means that you need a new environment a new way of doing things a new strategy right so the shell whatever stability that you had whatever brought you stability or brought you assurance but at the same time made you feel suffocated it has to break okay because you are growing you are outgrowing the situation 
this place, the situation is no longer in alignment with you because you outgrew it, okay? You are too big for that. Your energy, your spirit is too big for that. Too big for that belief system, too big for that habit, too big for that environment, okay? It's time for you to find a new shell. It's almost like um, reinventing yourself, rediscovering yourself. So I'm seeing this energy here where again, it will be triggered by a disappointment or you're really feeling really sad or you're having a breakdown, whatever it is, okay? It seems to be where you are saying, I no longer, I'm not gonna do it like that anymore. Like I'm done, okay? This is not working out. This is you staying on your two feet and saying, this is not working out anymore, okay? And I'm seeing here that you are going to make a decision here i feel like it could even be that this adventure that is coming to you again it starts a little bit rough okay just like in the movie but this tower tells me that i think you have been thinking about doing that for a while now when i say that for example you have been thinking about um you have been thinking about um moving to paris for three years now never have done that okay then you've realized that this relationship is no longer for you and nothing holds you back anymore there's nothing that you that holds you back that holds you back from moving to paris so even though you have been thinking about it for three years only in one week you make the decision to take um to uh, to book a flight and to find an airbnb over there that's what it feels like it's something that you have been thinking for some time okay it has been lingering in your mind maybe it has been a thought that was there and then it went away and then it come, came back again and then it went away and then within one or two days you're gonna do it you're gonna jump into the cold water because your intuition tells you so okay your intuition would tell you the signs would tell you the universe would tell you even through a dream through um, a, a strong insight okay through a weird synchronicity through a weird sign through a very intense terror reading whatever it is okay because all of that energy is like mystic okay um through that energy you're gonna be like okay you know what i'm gonna make this change i'm gonna jump through the mirror whatever this means to you. I'm gonna jump through this mirror, okay? And this decision that you're making is the best decision that you've ever made. It's like your intuition is leading you, your intuition is leading you to the most beautiful place ever, okay? The Nine of Pentacles tells me independence, okay? So this could be that you will find your freedom again after being in a suffocating relationship or that you find an apartment that brings or that you are going to move from one apartment to another and wherever you are going is the perfect place for you because it makes you grow it makes you flourish whatever this energy is okay this new place this new apartment it seems to be healing it seems to be healing you and because it is healing you okay it also brings success to you financial independence financial success okay you take this job in Paris because you just had a breakup or like you broke up with a person, You the relationship didn't work. It was very, very hard, it hurt, okay? But then you make this decision to go to Paris and you get like a job with a big salary, you know? That's the type of vibe that I'm feeling here. It's gonna be <laughs> different for all of you, okay? Um, I'm also seeing an energy here I'm also seeing an energy here that there's going to be again you will also make the decision here to change the way you think okay to make um to actively change how you think like okay i have been thinking that way for a very long time and it didn't bring me anywhere it reminds me of this one quote i have been hating myself for the last 20 years and it didn't bring me anywhere so what happens when i start to love myself okay for some of you guys self-love practices and self-care practices that you are going to dive into whatever self-care practice for whatever self-love practice you're going to do you're gonna thank yourself in the future that you've done that because this energy that it brings to you is your destiny unfolding or things finally working out for you here okay you're gonna attract a job you're gonna attract money to you you're gonna attract everything to you but it comes from a place of like 
I understand that I have been neglecting myself or I understand that my mind is very negative and maybe that's why I don't manifest what I want to manifest or I have been really harsh and very, very mean to myself. Let me do something about it, okay? And that energy here, you are inviting this adventure to you as you do that. Now, let's get a little bit more clearer. I want to get just a few more cards here. Okay. So, let's see. Now, we also have the true love card here. So, let's see what it, that is about. So, Spirit, what is the consciousness of lack about? What is this big change that is coming to pile number one? Yeah. Your mind, you will have, you will see that you start to have new thoughts that you haven't done, haven't had before. Okay, the the change here is happening first of all in your mind. You might even be noticing that your mind is quite calm. Okay, or your mind is wandering in new directions that you didn't go to before. Okay, so you're gonna think out of the bubble, think out of the box. I feel like this is spirit. Spirit is gonna. Spirit is coming to you in the form of new thoughts. Your mind wandering in new directions that you things that you didn't think about before, things that you never, um, you you never saw them in that way. Okay. Let's see. Let's get one more card here. What is the consciousness of lack about? Mm. You see, money. I feel like there's going to be a shift in how you view money. Now, um, so I've been thinking about this, um, where when we see money as energy, it simplifies the whole situation, right? New thoughts about money, okay? Instead of seeing money that it is hard to come by or hard to it 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 feels like there's a there's a shift here when it comes to money when it comes to financial abundance okay um i'm seeing here the universe is telling you see money from a different perspective see it from a place of it is energy okay I'm not gonna say any much more because you are, your mind is sharp, okay? If you really sit yourself down and connect to the universe, your mind is super sharp, so you're gonna know. But see money as energy, okay? Simplify things. It's energy, money is energy, okay? It might be an answer to your question. Money is energy, okay? Let's see what this true love is about here. What is the true love card about? Whatever adventure you're gonna do, whatever, it's like, I feel like it's a decision that you're gonna make from one day to another, okay? I don't know what exactly it is, but I think it's something that you have been thinking about for a while, okay? But you know, like usually when you <laughs> want to move to a different country, you usually like plan that for a few months. But here it feels like I've been thinking about it for three years and I never did anything about it. And then from one day to another, I buy the plane ticket. That's what it feels like. Okay. What is the true love card about here? So in a nutshell, your mind about money or your mind about abundance your mind about financial success is changing and because your mind about money success is changing it brings an adventure to you that you will be very very grateful for again this adventure whatever you're gonna do whatever decision you're going to make is actually going to bring financial success to you so this big change here is financial success financial stability but the change is happening in your mind first mm, you see now i'm seeing it here look at that okay what is the great gratitude about here mm -hmm. what is up 
I'm also seeing here for some of you guys you're gonna travel to your home country whatever wherever you come from and I think some of you guys you might be thinking about moving back home or moving home I don't know first it just came through very very strongly here some of you guys you want to go back home to your home country or go for a visit in your home country it might be important here for your journey okay when it comes to financial success and financial stability seeing here i'm seeing an energy here where um you're gonna notice that it almost feels like taking your power back now let me explain what exactly i mean by that in a sense where before you had a feeling where you felt like i'm dependent on other people to make things happen or um, the power lies in the hands of other people for example if you wait for a document or something like that and i'm seeing an energy here where you will realize or spirit is saying here that the power lies in your hands specifically in your energy if you pray about it or if you really from the core of your being um send positive energy towards something okay like it's almost like you will realize the change here that is happening in your life is realizing how much power you have to make things happen when before you felt weak you will realize how much power you have that it it was always you it almost feels like it was always you it was always in your hands it was always you or the solution was always in front of me it was always there you're gonna realize that it was always you okay and i'm seeing here i'm seeing a big cycle here i'm seeing here that you are saying goodbye to um old belief systems i'm seeing you here saying goodbye to an old way of living because i'm seeing an energy here where um negative habits have been holding you back from this huge destiny that you have from this financial stability whatever it is and i'm seeing an energy here where you will wake up it almost feels like seeing things clearly now the hacker also tells me 100 you're going to get a download if you already not if you have not already received a download from spirit you're going to get a download from spirit okay so don't be surprised if you get like i don't know so many signs okay um where you start to decode what the universe what the universe wants to tell you it almost feels like you did not understand the situation and all of a sudden in a split second you understand the whole picture it feels like you are decoding what the universe has been trying to teach you what the universe has been trying to tell you and you're gonna feel like oh my god the solution here was always there okay but i had to change my mind to see it and I had to embrace that I am weird, that I'm unique, that I'm different, okay? Because different people walk a different path and a different path leads to a different outcome, right? I'm seeing a big cycle here, like toxic energy is leaving your life, okay? Leaving your life, leaving your body. I'm seeing you here saying goodbye to, an, to a habit, to an old habit or an old way of thinking or you finally like getting up and saying like i'm done with this bullshit okay <laughs> and i'm seeing it's gonna bring an adventure to you that leads you to financial stability may it be a job may it be you traveling okay it brings you financial stability okay it brings you wealth okay my beautiful pie number two i hope you like this reading i hope this helped <laughs> and i'm going to see my next one i wish you a lovely day Bye. Hello, my beautiful pie number three. So you either choose this lovely crystal, clear quartz crystal here, or you chose the white rose. So let's see what next big change is coming into your life. I'm excited. Are you? <laughs> so let's see. Let me look at the cards first, okay? 
Oh yeah, for you three cards, mm, it's gonna be super interesting. I already know that. <laughs> um, there is some type of commitment come. Let's see, okay? Let's see what that is about. Um, okay, my lovely pie number three. Um, the first card that came out for you here is Magician's Sword, Confidence in Your Magic. Oh, I'm gonna love this reading. <laughs> And we have here dances on one foot balancing act. <laughs> and we have here sky bridge possibility for union. Now the interesting thing is this card possibility for union came out with a commitment card. Okay, so let's see is this commitment here practical meaning um, a new job signing a contract here or working with somebody or is it romantic <laughs> I'm interested in that okay let's see so the energy that I pick up here for you guys pile number three is um, the magician's sword reminds me of the um, movie with um, I think it's called King Arthur you know where this little boy you know like everybody wants to win you know this prize or wants to be the one that takes the sword out of the stone okay and i metaphorically see that for everybody wants to be successful or everybody wants to be on top you know um whatever success means okay success could mean a lovely beautiful little apartment <laughs> In the forest or it could mean like a big mansion it could just mean having a job that you love okay which is my personal favorite like success for me means having a job that you freaking adore and love and you feel so good about it but it also brings money you know um, I'm seeing an energy here the next big change in your life is gonna be a little bit surprising for you now I'm seeing here that you might be trying something just for the fun of it just for the pleasure you know like oh hmm, i think that would bring fun to me or i think that's a cool idea like i want to try you know for example you feel like you want to try to go to a zumba class and then as you go to the zumba class the teacher tells you you are a natural talent and you're like oh i never i never knew that you know and from one day to another you are like um, at zumba contests or dancing contests or whatever you know it's almost like discovering something you're just trying something but as you try that you realize that <laughs> it brings something to you that is big okay this could be the form of an idea but this idea or whatever you're gonna do because you feel like doing it because you feel like oh it would be fun to do that actually <laughs> it's like a big turning point in your life it feels like now with the magician sword um, it also tells me it says confidence in your magic so if you had doubt in your mind about um, your manifestations or if magic is real or if the universe is really taking care of you or if your manifestations will ever come true I feel here that you are going to receive either a huge sign from the universe it's an energy it's like either in an event or a sign or, or a synchronicity that boosts your confidence to the point where you believe that your manifestations are coming to fruition it's almost like unshakable confidence or unshakable belief it's almost like your faith is being restored by a certain event or by a certain sign or the universe communicating something to you it says believing or confidence in your magic so it's almost like being confident in how much you can manifest but again it's triggered by some type of it says increase here right so you might be seeing that the energy around you is increasing that the signs are increasing that the energy around you is increasing whatever you have been thinking about i see an increase here this could be an increase when it comes to your financial stability you know financial abundance this could be an increase in your followers your um, people that want to work with you your clients or your website is being visited you know more often there is definitely an increase here okay um i'm seeing an energy here where you no longer it almost feels like 
nothing is stopping you anymore. This big change that I'm seeing here is interesting, right? Because it seems, it seems to be a leash, okay? It seems to be a leash here, but this leash, you are cutting the cord. You're cutting the cord when it comes to something. This could be that you are cutting a cord. Maybe you are even like quitting your job, okay? And going for what your intuition has been telling you or just, um, you know, like uh, maybe a lease is uh, ending, a contract is ending, right? But it seems to be as if you truly believe, okay? The change here is your belief, your confidence is increasing, your belief is increasing. And when it, all of that is increasing, of course, it also has tangible results that you can actually see here. The dance is on one foot here, which says balancing act. Also tells me you will, you will feel like you are very light on your feet. Okay, so this change that is happening here is a very very light-hearted energy in a sense where again you're trying something and all of a sudden success is coming to you you send this email to this company thinking like oh you know what i'm just going to send an email to them and then they send you an email back and they want to work with you and you're like oh i was just trying you know this was just like you know like you didn't even think about it okay again for others of you it's like a a sign where you're like oh my god the universe is really with me there's really something here with me, <laughs> okay? And this is gonna boost your confidence in whatever you're trying to manifest here. Now, let's get dive a little bit deeper into the whole situation here. Um, let's see, which cards are we going to use? Um, I think I wanna use the Light Oracle here. Let's see, what is the Letting Go card about? And the Magician's Sword. What is that about? Oh, yep. <clears throat> it almost feels like spirit is crowning you. You're being crowned. Okay. What do I mean by that? The universe is saying you are ready. You, ooh. <laughs> the universe is saying you are ready to, you are ready for the next level. You are ready for the next level when it comes to success. When it comes to your career, you are ready for the next level in your life. It feels like you are, pie number three, you are ready for the next level in your life. Whatever that means to you. You are being crowned. The universe is saying, well done. You learned your lessons. Well done. You have become very, very mature. Okay. This could even be becoming very, very good at your craft or at your art or whatever you are doing. Or... Spirit is saying you are ready for the next big manifestation because you learned all the lessons that you need to learn, okay, when things have not been manifesting before. And you're like, you learned every lesson to understand and now you are ready to receive this manifestation. You are being crowned in a sense where the universe says you have become mature enough to receive whatever you've been asking for. You have become mature enough to take on this responsibility, to take on this new role in life, to take on an authority position, whatever it is that you are manifesting. You have learned all the lessons that you need to learn. You have, come, you have become mature enough. Okay, You are ready to lead people. You are ready to... Um, um, it, it, it feels like you are ready to, yeah, I, I, just to keep it short and simple, you are ready for the next level, but it comes from a place of maturity. You have learned all the lessons that you ha had to learn, or you are in the process of learning all the lessons that you had to learn. Specifically when it comes to manifestation, I feel like, I feel like you have been thinking a lot about manifestation, how to manifest, why sometimes things don't manifest, why things do manifest. Maybe you have been trying to figure out what is your passion, what do you actually want to manifest here. Look at that. For some of you guys, it's ready for you to teach other people, okay? For some of you guys, it is ready to teach other people. What you have learned, you are ready to teach it to other people. Okay, if you if you have been thinking about wanting to create content or do whatever, you know, you are ready to teach other people because you have become mature. 
Mm. And now, look, I just want to show you what I'm seeing here. Okay, so this is you, okay? This is your mature, beautiful you, okay? Who was um, humble enough to learn whatever the universe has been trying to teach you, okay? And now you become a king, you become a queen, you are getting crowned, well done, you've learned, you've become mature. You learned a lot about yourself and a, and a lot about other people, a lot about the universe and look at you. Now you are ready for the next level. <laughs> um, now interestingly enough, I'm seeing here the energies that I'm seeing here is like, this is you. And it seems to be, I told you that your manifestations are coming to you. So this person looks like, hey, I want to give that to you. And then this person's like, hey, I want to give that to you. So you're basically um, manifesting here. The change that you will be seeing is that things just fly to you without you doing anything, okay? But again, it has something to do with your energy. Your energy is magnificent, okay? Your energy is magnificent, very mature, but also passionate, also connected to the universe, but also very grounded. You also think a lot about other people and how you can help other people, how you can help your family, okay? And you are getting crowned. You are getting blessed. And again, there is a lot flying to you. You will notice that people will give you things for free or people say, people giving you a lot of compliments or people really saying that they want to learn something from you or they want to buy something from you, whatever it is, okay? Whatever you're trying to manifest here. Even like people that are interested in you um, in case you want to date. <laughs> You're gonna attract people here as well. Your confidence is like, woo! Your confidence is on another level, the next level, you see? So let's see, what is increasing in pile number three's life here? I feel like Easter season or like Easter uh, is gonna be significant for some of you guys. That's lovely. Let me get one more card here. <clears throat> Out with the old, in with the new. Something that I'm hearing. Okay, you might be making a decision here again. You might be making a decision to leave a job behind because I feel like it has something to do with your career. The Queen of Pentacles tells me um, that it might have something, I feel like you might take a leap of faith when it comes to your career in a sense where maybe you will take on a new job or you are looking for a new job before you quit your old one or you're thinking about maybe taking on a job in a different country, in a different city. You're definitely taking a leap of faith, okay? You're taking a leap of faith when it comes to your finances, investing into something, quitting something, researching something when it comes to your career your job situation <clears throat> and because you do that there's going to be an increase now let's see what this increase is about you're definitely leaving something behind like i'm done with that and let's let's go there again the next level like i'm done with this it's almost feels like i'm done with this level i'm ready for the next level what is increasing in pile number three's life what up what's increasing Ooh. what is increasing your your ability to manifest and call in things is increasing okay we're gonna talk about it in a second it's like you don't even have to do much it's all your energy wow okay okay for some of you guys you're calling in your soulmate and, and your true love i'm seeing here they are arriving soon in your life. There's going to be an increase when it comes to soul connections. Okay, what is increasing here? Options. Ooh. <laughs> your vibe is completely different, okay? <laughs> I'm having the time of my life here with you guys. Ooh. Excuse me. Hold on. What's 
going on with you guys here? Man. In, in essence, what is increasing in your life is your ability to manifest is increasing like crazy. Look at that. This is you like, okay, um, I want to travel in here. You know, you're waiting just for like a few moments and here the boat is for you to travel. Oh, I want to manifest my true love. Oh, here is it. Here's this person. Um, I also want to manifest something else here. Okay, make a decision. What do you want to manifest? You got the gist of how to manifest. Not how manifestation works, but how manifestation works for you. How manifestation works for you. Because it's different for all, of, for all of us. It's almost like you are learning the whole how things come to you, how you call in things to you. And look at that, the star and the eight of wands increase in what? What are you trying to manifest? What is your wish? Increase in followers, increase in views, increase in money. What is it? Okay, increase in opportunities as well. Multiple job offers. Wow, guys. Your energy is magnificent. I already felt that. You're calling in your dreams. You're calling in an increase wherever you want to see that increase, basically. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm a little speechless here. <laughs> now, let's see. Possibility for union. What is that energy about? So, some of you guys, you might be signing a new contract or finding a new job here, okay? For others of you, this could be um, that you are meeting somebody that you're going to be committed to. <laughs> Let's see, what is the commitment about here, Spirit? Seven of Swords. Okay. For others of you, you are escaping a contract. I don't know. For some of you guys, you might have the possibility here to... Um, how do you say that it, it almost feels like breaking a lease because you know like almost like getting out of a contract it almost feels like for some of you guys the next big change is for you to get out of a situation here you're gonna find a way to get out of a situation I also feel like some of you guys are sneaking out of a job and finding a new one <laughs> listen to me Linda hello 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 who are you <gasps> Guys, excuse me, tell me, tell me your manifestation rituals. Excuse me. <laughs> so, um, let's calm down again, okay? Because the vibration, the energy is quite high here. Um, so, I showed you the Queen of Pentacles, okay? The next big change is going to happen when it comes to your career. When it comes to your what you want to study, where you want to go, going to a foreign country for work, whatever it is. Now, we have the King and the Queen of Pentacles every time I see a pair. And then we have the lovers here as well. Guys, if you if you are the first time on my channel and you do not watch my future spouse readings, I would highly recommend for you to watch them because this person is around the corner here. King and Queen of Pentacles. You might have chosen also piles before where the King and Queen of Pentacles were in your reading. Look at that. This is your future spouse. This is your true love. Hello. They are here. But first of all, before they come into your life, I feel like a lot of you guys are sneaking out of a contract in the sense where you're sneaking out of a job. Okay? You're sneaking out of a job that made you feel miserable or some type of commitment. It could even be like a lease um, or a contract for an apartment and you're gonna find a loophole how to get out of this contract for this apartment to find a new one. So this change is happening first. The first change is happening either career or some type of contract. You're sneaking out of a contract, okay? As you sneak out of this contract here, an opportunity um, presents itself to you. So you're sneaking out of the situation and then there's like this new opportunity here 
again because you are the interesting thing is um you're calling in a lot of things okay you're calling in blessings here but first of all you're sneaking out of a situation i don't know what it is you tell me this could even be like changing your mind about what you want to commit to this could even be like i wanted to study that but now i've changed my mind or I actually wanted to stay in this country, but now I'm sneaking out of this country. I don't want to be here anymore. I want I want to work in another country or finding a way. It's like finding a way to get out of a contract here, out of a commitment. For a lot of you guys, I feel like you're quitting your job. Okay. And for others of you, I'm seeing here that you're actually finding a new job here. Okay. But you got to be a little bit careful if it's a new job. Um, you have to read the contract properly, okay? And if this job and this contract seems to be shady, wait because there's another there's another opportunity coming to you, okay? So maybe wait before you sign a contract as well, because uh, there might be a little bit sneaky here. So you gotta be a little bit careful when you read contracts or where there's like a an opportunity represented to you where you have to sign a contract be aware of that okay okay my beautiful pie number three what do we want to read for you guys i think i'm going to read the magician's sword here just for the fun of it let's read it okay magician's sword confidence in your magic nothing can stop you the beauty you seek <laughs> so when the magician's sword appears, you are called to cut the cords. We talked about that. Where was it? Cutting the cord. You're already doing that. Amazing. Okay. Um, you are called to cut the cords that bind you to old thoughts, forms, and beliefs, or to friends who are not true. You see, you might be cutting a cord when it comes to a contract or a commitment, a relationship, whatever this word commitment means to you in this very moment, okay, or contract. Um, with the power of the magician's sword, nothing can stop you, hurt you, or turn you away from the beauty you seek and the or the goal you desire with all your heart. The sword is a tool, not a weapon, so make sure you wield it wisely and for the greater good. Find the stuck places where you are kept tethered to a toxic person, a particular location, or a faulty thought or belief, and let the blade do its magic. You have a large endowment of magic available to you when you believe in miracles, but don't look to the heavens to grant you a wish. Look within. Use the magician's sword to cut through limiting beliefs, and remember that all beliefs are limiting, and focus your intention in order to create what you wish. When the magician's sword appears, it is time to get moving. This is not a tool for contemplation, for gazing at the finely polished edge. It is an instrument calling for decisive action. And remember, the sword is alive with the wisdom you can summon. You see, I told you, you're summoning things to you. Kind of like, um, do you know what it reminds me of? This reminds me of like, a, you know, in the animal world when there's like a bird singing. And as she's singing, she's calling in like her bird man <laughs> or like, I don't know, or like a mermaid in a, in a movie that is singing like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, or like, a, do you say siren? Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then this, your, your energy is traveling, like your voice, what you're singing is traveling. Okay. And it's calling in things to you. It's, it's magnificent here with you guys. Okay. So it says, um, it is an instrument calling for decisive action and remember the sword is alive with the wisdom you can summon to help you find the best course of action. Do not hesitate, act. Okay, Hi number three. I think you I think you are doing a great job, okay? We also have the balancing act. So I feel like you are very good at balancing yourself or you are getting there to get back into balance. And as you get back into balance, as you feel balanced again, watch how the magic unfolds in your life, to be honest. Like <laughs> there's nothing that I can say. I'm super excited here. Um, I hope you like this reading. Let me know in the comments if you like it, if you resonate with it, and I'm going to see my next one. I wish you a lovely day. Bye. Hello, my beautiful pie number four. 
so let's look at your cards let's see the next big change that is happening in your life so you chose this beautiful crystal here it's a little bit hard to see okay so that's what you chose and or <laughs> you chose this image here so let's see let's find out the change <clears throat> The next pick, oh yeah, I'm also excited for your reading. Pile number three was amazing. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, so the next big change that is coming to you is connected to a gathering, okay? Um, I'm gonna show you the cards in a second. So we have here um, friends and colleagues, and it seems to be a gathering here. In this picture and the interesting thing is we also have gathering around the power of community okay so the next big change that is coming into your life definitely has something to do with other people this could be um, what is going to happen in your community in the sense where the people that are around you maybe even your group circles becoming bigger group circle <laughs> your friend circles becoming bigger I'm also seeing for some of you guys if you have your own um, business you definitely will have way more clients okay I'm seeing here like um, an energy where maybe you will um, go to a gathering like a business gathering now only take what resonates with you because it's a lot of you watching um and i'm picking up all of your energy so i'm seeing here for some of you guys this might be a business meeting okay for others of you this might be you going to a class or a course to learn more about business and finances okay so you will find like-minded people there for others of you this might be an energy where you will be introduced to new colleagues okay they're going to be very important the change that is happening in your life and for others of you this could literally be like a gathering like a wedding um, a business meeting um, you know like a party that you are uh, getting invited to you know so this change that is happening in your life is definitely about the people around you, the community around you. And again, for some of you guys, if you have your own business, um, your own channel, you would definitely attract a lot of lovely, lovely people. A lot of lovely people you will attract into your life, I'm seeing here. But let's look a little bit more deeper. And then we also have here the hollow bone and it says teachability. Okay, so as it says teachability, I feel like for some of you guys, this is really like a, a gathering that is, um, the, this gathering here that is happening is about learning something, you see, because we talked about like maybe learning more about finances or learning more about business, learning more about manifestation, could even be learning more about cooking, learning more about meditation, sound healing. It seems to be a gathering where people learn something together for some of you guys and for others of you, there's a specific event happening at a party, at a wedding, okay, depending on what you resonate with. Now, let's see what that is about. We also have here the vast universe and the vast universe tells me that this next big change that is happening in your life, guys, if you have been feeling like you are a lone wolf and there's nobody around you or if you have been feeling like a lack of socializing, this is going to change big time, okay? The vast universe tells me also how the universe will show you plenty. It feels like the vast universe reminds me of how infinite and how plenty, like the abundance of the universe. But this abundance that comes into your life is in the form of partnerships, people that you work with, people that you love, possibly even a relationship. I mean, looks cute, doesn't it? <laughs> so let's see. Um, what are we going to do first? Let's read this card out, gathering around. Because this reading seems to be connected to the people that will be around you. You will have a blast. You will enjoy yourself incredibly, you know. <laughs> so let's see what that is about. It says, gathering around, the power of community, being safe and secure, allowing help. There are times when you need positive reinforcement from others. Perhaps your journey has made you tired just before reaching the proverbial finish line when you where your friends await to cheer your arrival 
remember this, you are not alone. Regardless of whether you think you are, people gather around to help with your next step as you bring it forth from the cosmos into the beauty of life. There has never been there has never been another you before and you have a unique relationship with your friends, family, communities and all those who gather to help you in the, the unseen realms. Now is the time to allow assistance from others. Ask for it and trust that you will, re you will receive it. You are safe and secure right now in this moment, truly supported in your beautiful, amazing, complicated life. You are heard by angels, witnessed by the divine and loved. Yes, loved now and always by life itself. Whatever your query, you will find the help you need to achieve what you desire and you will not have to do this alone. Count on it. So this almost feels like you can count on your friends around you, but I also want to say, um, because it says change, right? So <laughs> what is changing here? I think either your group circle, your friend circle is changing. The people that you are working with is changing. And I think for a lot of you guys, this is new people, a new relationship here. It's a lot of people around you. Okay, so let's see what exactly that is about. Let's find out. Let's find out what that energy is about. <laughs> Let's see, what is the friends and colleagues about? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, you guys have been feeling a little bit like alone on your journey, okay? Again, just like the book said, you're almost at a finish line. So this could be that you are almost there to complete something, okay? I'm seeing like you're 90% ready <laughs> or like 80%. It's almost like you're almost done with your exams, almost done with studies, almost done with this job, almost done with whatever it is, okay? Completing something here. And it seems to be where you feel like I could need some help or I could need people that help me with this or I could need some assistance from people here. Okay. Let's see what else. Now for others of you. Um, for others of you, there might be an energy here. Let's see. What is the friends and colleagues about spirit for pile number two? Uh, sorry, for pile number four. <laughs> Let's see. What is the friends and colleagues about for pie number four? Oh, awesome. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm seeing an energy here. Yes, your friend circle is indeed expanding. I feel like you're also going to come across a lot of foreign people, okay, from different countries. When you are traveling, you are going to find new people. Are you um, moving to a different country and you are scared if you are going to be by yourself, you're not going to be by yourself. You're going to have plenty of friends around you, new friends, okay, expats and all of that. Okay, for others of you, a big change that is coming into your life is that you're going to meet somebody very important a so a soulmate okay you're gonna meet a soulmate when you um apply for a new job or you're gonna be a new work situation here this could be changing the department changing what you are studies okay could be changing studies could be traveling for work or working abroad you're gonna meet lovely lovely people here spirit is saying this your friend circle is expanding okay Let's get one more card here. And it specifically has something to do with work. So new colleagues, you will find new friends and new colleagues. Or you're gonna, yeah, you see the finish line. I told you, I feel like you're about to complete something. You're almost done with something. Only one year and then I'm done with my studies. Um, you know, only a few months then I can quit my job and start this new job. Um, only a few months and I can, you know, like... Um, move to a different country, move to a different apartment. You're almost there here, okay? You're almost there. Even if you feel like I don't see the results, you're almost there. Do not stop now. <laughs> you're almost there. Don't do it. Don't stop. You're almost there, okay? <laughs> I'm seeing here also success when it comes to work. I'm seeing here if you recently sent an 
application okay you're gonna get good um news they want to work with you okay there's success when it comes to work when it comes to um, communication in a sense where if you have been writing an s not an essay maybe you have been writing an essay and you get a good grade <laughs> um okay i'm seeing you if you have been writing an application for a job okay for a new job you're gonna get good news here okay you're gonna get news you're gonna be super duper happy because you finally have this new job and again there's also new colleagues new people coming into your life whatever situation when it comes to work new work situation okay changing to a new department whatever it is those new people around you or traveling for work okay or you traveling period Okay. You could even be like self-employed, but you still go to a different country. You will find lovely people. So the change that is happening here is your friend circle is expanding to keep it short and simple. Okay, let's see. What is the vast universe about here? Yeah, the universe will show you how many people are outside in the world that are like-minded. They're going to show you how many people are out there who have the same mind as you okay i'm seeing here you are being blessed when it comes to friendships and relationships look at that the two of love people that you can work with people that can help you and assist you when it comes to whatever you're going through right now okay people who have the same mind as you people that you will work with the universe there's a fated meeting a destined meeting here there's a destined meeting, okay? And I feel like you're going to work with this person or you guys work on the same thing. You guys work in the same field, maybe. You guys do the same thing, okay? Maybe both of you are authors or both of you want to become authors and then you can... Do you know what I'm feeling here? There's a quote that says, if two people believe in the same thing, it's manifesting faster. And I feel like that's what's going to happen here. You're going to come across a like-minded person or like-minded people. And as you come together, you help each other to manifest. That's what it feels like. Awesome. Let's see. What is the vast universe about here? Okay. Um, I'm seeing here that... Yeah, I feel like before you had a little bit of a hard time to find like-minded people or um, it almost feels like you had kind of like a hard time to be truthful to people because you felt like you cannot fully show who you are, okay? Um, it could even be that you always felt like this, these connections that you have in your life, they are not as deep as you want them to be, okay? In the sense where um, maybe, you know, <laughs> maybe you felt even a little bit like judged by people because you seem to be a very unique individual, okay? Um, and what I'm seeing here is the universe will show you that... Um, they will show you let me get one more card because the completion tells me look at this card it's a gathering again okay like-minded people you having a blast you having wine you working with people okay but i feel like there's an energy here of um it was not always like that or you are right now in an energy where you feel like a um is there something good out there for me? It feels like it feels like an energy of I even feel like you're doubting this um, reading right now. You're not sure if this is really going to come to you. The universe is saying you clicked on this video or you are here watching me. OK, <laughs> it might take a little bit of time, but it is coming to you. OK, this is not coming to you tomorrow, but spirit wants to tell you. We know that you have been doubting that are people out there for you. You have been doubting all the predictions that you have been hearing, those positive predictions, okay, for some of you guys, for some of you guys. For others of you, you are like, yes, give it to me, bring it on. <laughs> but for some of you guys, Bird is saying here, um, let yourself be surprised, okay? Let yourself be surprised about the beauty and the the beauty of com i feel like the people that you're gonna be surrounded by they have the same values and they also fight for the same thing let's say 
freedom is the most important thing to me. And then you're gonna meet somebody that says, freedom is the most important thing to me. It's like they are a mirror to you. You're like, damn, you're like me. <laughs> That's what it feels like here, okay? Let's see, what is the Five of Swords about though? What do you want to tell me with that? Now, another thing that I want to tell you is if you recently had a fallout with a friend or you had like a big fight in a relationship and you blocked this person because I feel like I feel like for some of you guys you recently had like a big fight with somebody, okay? Somebody that you loved, um, could be even romantic. This is very specific for somebody here. So you recently had a fight with somebody, okay? You felt like this person's playing games, this person's not truthful to you, this person's lying. They're not laying their cards on the table. Do you say it like that? You see, not laying the cards on the table. They're not showing you what they truly want from you or whatever. And you said, nope, I'm done with that. I'm blocking you, okay? And because you've done that, you felt like, well, you know, now I'm really by myself. There is no relationship, no friends, no nothing. Spirit is saying, first of all, what you've done there is going to bring new energy to you, okay? It could, it feels like you, you recently completed a contract with a soulmate or like a karmic or I usually don't use that words, but it's kind of like you learned every lesson that you had to learn in this connection, okay? And you blocked this person or you said, I no longer... I'm no longer going to let you into my life, okay? And as you do that, as you say no to a relationship that brings conflict to you, um, you're actually opening up the energy of this new people coming into your life. So you're leaving somebody behind, but as you're leaving them behind, somebody new is coming, okay? And again, it's a group of people. I don't think it's just one person. I feel like it's it's a lot of people here coming your way. Let's see what this kindred partnership is about. What is this kindred partnership about? <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys, you recently broke up with somebody or you're thinking about breaking up with them because... There's something that is not how it's supposed to be, okay? You're wondering about breaking up with someone or you are daydreaming about being with the love of your life. Let's see. What is the kindred partnership about? Guys, <laughs> we don't even have to continue this reading, okay? <laughs> Okay, as something gets ruined, this does not come like, oh, it's honey and milk and stuff like that, you know. You're gonna, I don't know what you are doing here, but it seems to be something is ruined here. I don't know if it's a friendship, a relationship, if you just feel a little bit like a hopeless, like I'm by myself, there's nobody with me, what is going on, why is the universe not bringing anybody to me, something along those lines here, it seems to be where you say goodbye to something here, to a connection, whatever it is, this could even be like saying goodbye to, you know, like a family member, okay, for some of you guys, or cutting cords, blocking somebody for your mental health here, because you're done, okay? And for others of you, this is just an energy here where, now, let me tell you, whatever this is that brought you pain or whatever it is that you felt like, well, that's ruined or that didn't work out, this relationship didn't work out, even if you started to date somebody or somebody goes at you, didn't reply to you, whatever it is, it was for the better, okay? This, this, would have not worked out anyway mm -mm. it was a dead end i don't know what it is dead end job dead end relationship whatever it is whatever you're leaving behind here you are actually i feel like you're in contemplation mode for some of you guys you've already made the decision to leave this person behind or to believe to leave this energy behind and say goodbye for others of you, you are contemplating to say goodbye to something spirit is definitely in case you really feel it in your soul um 
in your intuition, the universe is um, encouraging that because, listen Linda, okay, look at that energy. Um, do you see the traffic light here? As one, something stops. As something stops, there's a green light for this new person, these new people, these new friends. And here they are. Hello, hello, excuse me, can I have your number? <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna read the, this card and then I'm gonna leave you with this reading, okay? So let's see if there's any other message here. It says, hollow bone teachability. So let's see what up with this card. I feel like you've learned something very valuable when it comes to relationship or when it comes to what is important for you in a future spouse, when it's what is important for you when you really are connected to somebody. And I think somebody has crossed your boundaries or something has crossed your boundaries here. Some of you guys are thinking about leaving it behind. Others of you, you already have done that. But the big change that is coming to you is a friendship that is true relationship that is blessed by the universe in a sense where it's supposed to work out okay let's see 28 so it says teachability humility being empty so that the wind of spirit can breathe through you you see feeling empty because you're leaving something behind here i don't know what it is Okay, it says, the hollow wing bone of an eagle is a flute for the shamans. The appearance of the hollow bone invites you to become empty of your notions of who you are, to check your ego at the door, and to know that this is not about you. Relinquish your need to be right and to express an opinion as it will not change anything right now. You are being called to practice humility. Hollow yourself out and hear the wind blow through you and play, and play you like a flute. You will learn the language of squall and the storm and understand the message in the summer breeze. There is an important communication waiting for you. Humility is the swiftest path for you to become like a hollow bone. Drop all notions and titles that bolster your ego. Eliminate the doer and allow things to happen of their own accord. Remember that you can accomplish most anything if you are willing to let someone else take credit for it. Hollow bone has, to, has come to caution you to believe only 50% of what others think and only 10% of what you think. Trust your experience, not what you have read in sacred books or holy texts. Remember that you are an insignificant grain of sand in the grand scheme of life and as important as the brightest sun. You see, I was talking about like 90%, you're almost there when it comes to your... Um, <laughs> when it comes to your goal and then it says you have 50% and 10%. I don't know. I'm going to leave you with this message here. You will apply that to your situation. It seems to be where what is being taken from you is being replaced. So it's not you losing, it's a replacement happening here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking right now, so I'm gonna leave you with this reading pile number four. I hope this helped. I hope you liked it, and I'm going to see my next one. I wish you a lovely day. Bye.